Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks locomotive review. Now obviously as you heard in the previous video I am getting back into model railway locomotives again. Um, so the particular locomotive I've got today I actually purchased from eBay when we were still at our old house and because of the house move um, it had to be put into a storage box ready to be moved. So I've just done a bit of um, research on it beforehand on Google um, just to find out the model number because when I purchased it um, it didn't come with the box um, and it didn't tell me what type of locomotive it was either so without further ado let's have a look at what we've got today then so as we can see today um, we have a Walvers locomotive now this is a GP9M I believe um, which I've researched on Google by the way um, now, I also read something somewhere about Wisconsin Central and EWS. Um, now, I don't know which way around it is. Did you, for the American modelers out there watching this video, um, did EWS have shares in Wisconsin Central or vice versa? Did the Americans have shares in EWS? Um, I can't really remember where I read it, but if I ever come across it, I will show it to you. So it's um, a GP9M, uh, it's number 1503, well it should be road number really, um, it's in the Wisconsin Central livery as you can see. So first off it's not too light, it's not too heavy, um, it's pretty bit in between really. Um, so we'll start with the front, um, so on the front I'll just zoom the camcorder in a little bit as well. Um, we have the Wisconsin Central Limited logo just there. Um, now I did actually read on the website that I've just done the research on that this particular model has been discontinued now. Um, so I don't know whether the railroad's still going or not. Um, but if you do know anything about this railroad, please leave your comments below and I will reply to you when I can. Um, one thing I've noticed though about the roof um, I don't know whether it's supposed to be like this. There's one horn is facing one way and the other horn is facing another way. Um, so I'm not too sure if there's a particular reason behind that. Um, moving down, uh, you can see the area where the road numbers um, usually go. Now I don't know whether this locomotive is going to have any lighting or whether I've got to fit lighting to it. Um, it hasn't been chipped at all yet. So um, that will be getting done um, shortly. I've just got to order some more decoders actually for my American locomotives. Um, so, like I say, moving down, oh, I'll just move the camcorder across a bit there. Um, we've got some handrails uh, running across the length of the locomotive. Now, you may have noticed it is slightly dusty, and um, that's due to it being in storage for quite some time. Um, so, I have just got my dust blower and blown some of the dust off and give it a quick clean before we did today's review. Now, on the bottom here, um, we've got our knuckle coupler and um, we're not too sure if these are the KD ones or not and we also have um, are the cow catchers I think they're called but again correct me if I'm wrong um, as I've had different opinions from various HO railroaders um, in the comments section on my channel so I've been having a quick look at some of those as well before I started today's review. Turning the locomotive round to the side now so as we can see um, we've got four wheels on either bogey as you can see we've also got the fuel tank under here and if you can just see that which is if we just turn the other way around actually so it's not upside down um, that information there Walvers and it's also made in China so carrying on with the side of the locomotive so as you can see on the side um, I'll just zoom the camcorder in on that actually we have the Wisconsin Central Limited logo just below the windows just there. Um, moving along as you can see we've got some really delicate handrails. Now you have to be really careful with these types of locomotives as to not break them because some of my other HO ones they tended to come loose um, so we ended up gluing them back on. And we can also see obviously where the driver must go to access the cab. As you can probably tell with the Wisconsin Central livery, um, it is a lot like EWS. 
Um, so it's like the maroon and gold of EWS, only on an American locomotive. So as you can see, we've got the Wisconsin Central wording just there, and the road number 1503 on the side as well. So, moving the locomotive round to the back now. So, as you can see, um, on the back we've got some more handrails, as you can see. Um, we've also got some lights there. But like I say, I won't know what lights up until I've actually got a decoder in it and got it tested. We've also got our knuckle coupler, and again the cow catchers or snow ploughs, whichever version it is, um, on the left and right hand sides there. So turning the locomotive round to the other side now, as you can see um, there's nothing much different on this side. Again, like I say, we've got the handrails uh, running the length of the locomotive, and we've also got the Wisconsin Central wording in maroon and 1503 road number as well in maroon. Uh, moving along now, you can see again we've got the Wisconsin Central logo just on the side below the cab window just there. So taking a look at the roof of the model now. So obviously as I mentioned earlier, um, the one horn's facing one way, one's facing the other. So I'm not too sure whether that's supposed to be like that or whether we'll have to change it. But as you can see on the roof, um, we've got some detailed fan grills, as you can see. Um, now I'm not too sure what year this model was produced. Like I said, I did purchase it off eBay, so uh, it didn't come with a box or any instructions. So hence why I've done the research today. But obviously, as you can see, uh, it is a nice touch to these models. Um, obviously, I know they don't spin or anything like that. Um, but it doesn't affect the overall quality or operation of the model in any way. So that is it basically. The Walvers GP9M in Wisconsin Central Livery.